Welcome everyone to our Monday morning video. I am here on August 24th, but you're not going to see this till August 31st. And I'm here with a dear friend of our parish, Tony Lino. He's one of the owners of Architectural Windows. And it's thanks to his generosity that we have these windows being installed uh, right now. And Kath, if you just span over for a second, you guys can see that they you got this whole team of installers going on and they're putting in the framework for the, for the big stained glass window. But Kath, as you come back over this way, Tony, I would love you to explain to our parishioners, uh, I mean, obviously, we thank you for your great generosity, but tell us a little bit about the project. Well, thank you, Father, and thank you for your kind words. Um, I was uh, introduced to the project by my dear friend and associate, Dave Lang. Dave? He told me that they needed a window. So I came to a meeting to find that it was a little more involved than Dave had represented. But <laughs> I got into the spirit of it and it was fun. And uh, I had to go back and tell my partners that we were doing all these windows uh, as a gift in memory of my dear parents, Paul and Helen Leno. And that's what's driving us all. Um, candidly, we, we're known for school windows and high rise windows. We're not in the church window business. But what we did was, with our engineering department, we designed a custom window system for St. Elizabeth's. So if we get another job, maybe we'll refer to it as the St. E product. Um, it's basically a very high performing product. And um, I'll explain with my friend here, Lou. This is Lou Orsini, who is responsible for the fabrication. This is all handwork. It's all custom. It's not something you can just do on a big machine. So, Lou, why don't we explain the window? Uh, it, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a four and a quarter inch or a five inch, Lou. Five and a four and a quarter. Four and a quarter inch deep. And this particular phase has been done to accommodate the stained glass. Do you want to explain how that works? Uh, yeah, basically it's dual glaze, so you have your, your insulated unit on the exterior, which has a low E coating on it uh, as well. That's for energy. Right. For energy. Um, it's got an inch of air space in between that light of glass and the stained glass that gets in the and there are there are wheat uh, there are holes and mm. wheat baffles on the outside that will let the heat in between the glass escape. All right, they're about to remove this one from you. They're taking it away as we speak. <laughs> And then, so Lou, what that does then by creating the space, then the stained glass window, which is being designed by Lamb Studios, will then go into place right. on the inside. Right. right. And we right. built it to accommodate their glass eyes. Yes. So that's about all I have to say, other than to give a few acknowledgments. Anthony Campanella. Anthony, uh, come over here a little bit so we can see you. Uh, C3 Partners. Uh, I know him since he's about this big, and he's a great installer, and he's here. Uh, to make sure everything goes in properly with his team. With his crew over there. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you to, you to Lou. Lou. Then I've got Dave Lang, who's responsible for us being here. <laughs> Our field engineer, Tim Remmer, who I had me to make sure everything went in right. Thank you, Tim. You Thank know, you. Uh, Ed Van Ness is our project manager slash engineer. Yeah. That's the architectural window story. God bless St. Elizabeth's and thank you for the opportunity. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you to all of you for all of your wonderful work. We really appreciate it. Let's just say bye to everyone there. God bless. Bye. Thank you.